Hey, welcome back. You know, with the coronavirus pandemic, the need for cleaning services, homes and businesses has been increasing. People are trying to come up with new ways to deal with that and keep safe and sanitize areas as well. Let's bring in Brad Halsey. He's the founder and the CEO of the Alexandria-based Momentum. He's leading a team that's working to build a robot prototype with the goal kill germs using a UVC light, and it moves around on its own. Brad, we uh, welcome you in this morning. How are you today? Hey, thanks. Doing well. All right, so walk, walk us through this. How does it work? We see it coming in over the room there. Um, take us away. Yeah, so uh, we realized, uh, so we're a problem-solving company, and that's what we do. We go around to disaster zones and battlefields, and this is we, you know, we grab what we can and we build things like this. And, uh, and so I challenged the team uh, within five days, build a robot that can go around a workshop, a school, a community center and, uh, and kill things with UV light. And so it was in our ethos to do it in a five day sprint mm -hmm. with what we had on hand. And this was our first prototype, as you see behind me, uh, giving me a nice suntan and cleaning my backside. <laughs> well, you know, it's two things in one, I guess. Walk us through this, because obviously we've been focusing so much on alcohol-based products. What does the, the light do to eliminate these viruses? Yeah, so the, the light is great in that there is no chemical resistance in these viruses. The light actually breaks the DNA in the virus. It breaks apart some of the molecules, and then it dies. And it works for bacteria. It works for viruses. It works for all sorts of things. And it doesn't squirt you know, water or any solvent or anything on stuff. And especially if you see behind me, I got 3D printers. We got a bunch of technology in this space. Uh, it's, it's pretty effective at just killing that. And especially on vertical surfaces where people don't think to wipe down vertical surfaces, right? Horizontal, we're great at. Uh, mm -hmm. Vertical, not so much. And so on handles, doors, things like that, this will kill all that and just autonomously walk around a, a building doing that. Now, building these, I'm, I'm sure, is probably not an easy thing to do. And being in the developmental stage, how quickly do you think you could manage, manufacture products like these, get them out to market where people could use them? Uh, so that's what my team is really great at is uh, over here is, is to my to my left. They're coming into this shot here is that there's a woman who led the team. Hello. Uh, this is Laurel, <laughs> and my CTO is uh, Dr. Albert Vega. And, uh, and they're really great, not only at doing this really rapidly, but then teaching people how to build things like this. We're also a teaching company, not just a prototyping company. And so uh, getting this set up such that local community members, people that need a job, people are re recently laid off to build this is something that this team right here behind me is working on. And the next iteration will hopefully be Monday, Tuesday with slightly more powerful bulbs so the robot can move faster. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to talk with the city of Alexandria, who actually funded in part some of this project to see if, if there's a way that we can use some of that uh, some of that community to build these robots for, you know, community centers, offices, mm -hmm. buildings in the area. You know, let me ask your team, as long as we've got you here right now, um, obviously necessity is the, the mother of invention. So have you uh, stretched your cells? learn new things that maybe um, what, what weren't on the table a couple of weeks ago before we wound up in, you can stay put, Brad, you're fine, uh, you, you, that, you know, you probably weren't thinking of before? Yeah, that's kind of the name of the game around here. Uh, every day you might walk into the office and have to use some new technology or method to build stuff or anything of the like to solve these problems that we're facing on a day-to-day -day basis. So being able to step into a room and say, yes, I've never seen this piece of technology before, but give me 20 minutes and access to Google and I'll figure it out. That's kind of our uh, mantra. It's great, too, because, you know, so many people have been concerned about, you know, some of these, you know, alcohol-based products not being on the market. The fact that there is another way out there to do this. Um, what's been the biggest obstacle you've run into so far? So right now it's just trying to get the power and the, the UV light out the door. Um, mm -hmm. it, there's, a, there's a calculation that says you need X amount of wattage out of these bulbs to kill in one or two seconds. Mm -hmm. And we're, so we're trying to get to that wattage such that it can now quickly move around different rooms. And then if you notice on the behind me right there on the white, yeah. uh, it follows a piece of white tape. Mm -hmm. So is you tape uh, you tape the entire office around, you know, down and it'll follow that. The next step, and Albert will be working with right. that, uh, with his team on that, is to do that autonomously without the tape. So just sense the room with LiDAR. It's fascinating. And, and Brad and the team, we thank you both for coming in here, telling us about, real quick, is there a name for the robot? Oh, yeah, Zapbot. Zapbot. <laughs> we, we love it, Zapbot. All right, we, we thank you for the, all the work you're doing. 
We'll be right back after this. Stick with us.